Oh, wait a minute. I need to say this to you, Dream. Hold on. We need to talk about I this. I, I, li listen, I, I'm, I'm sitting here literally suffering. No, serious. You threw away all my sundresses. I have not one sundress. Mom, that was like three years ago. But Let it's it still go. traumatizing. Let it go, Mom. I can't. Yeah, said, well, I don't can't. let me find out you're about to start baking. <laughs> she said, you, you, it smelled like a whole grandma in there. Oh, my God. I said, <laughs> A whole grandma. She real funny. What I want for my birthday is a big booty girl. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my daughter said, how come you always sit, think of that song when you think about your birthday? I don't know, because I'm a big booty girl. I think about that. It's, I, every time I think about my birthday, love the vlogs. I do. I love the vlogs too, y'all. So I know. I was watching and uh, reading some of the comments from the last vlog before my freaking internet act up on me. And everybody was just like... They were so happy when they saw the notification come in for the vlog. They was like, oh my God, yes, a vlog. So that made me feel good. You motivated me. You, you have. <laughs> Y'all my only friend. You know you my best friend. You know you are. <laughs> and they don't put out an alert. Stay in the house and stay away and, and keep your, your people safe. Why are you knocking on somebody's door? Why? And then I, I, they, they said, mom, it might be them people. I said, who, the Jehovah Witnesses? Is she said, I think so. I think, yeah, yeah. Cold, rain, storm, hell. They gonna knock on your door. <laughs> they come to the girl the earthquake. <laughs> you still hear not? <laughs> Christian, lying. <laughs> again. Starting all over again. Hey, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. All or not. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. It's <laughs> gonna be rough. All on us. But we're, we're gonna, gonna make it. it. They look good. Good morning, Spirit of Lights. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, our spirit is up. I turned on the vlog camera today. And I'm just going to be in and out today with the vlog. And I'm in the house. Mm-hmm. I don't have no plans to go out them doors, but to maybe take the trash out. Because I know it's too hot to keep trash too long. So I might do that. And, you know, we deal with a lot of organic stuff. Thanks to Nathan. You know. We don't take trash out. We got to deal with stuff that grow, like nets. They they seem to think they live here and not us, and they be trying to put us out. So I'm definitely going to probably take, take the trash out maybe later on the day after I do a lot of little things. I'm going to be doing a lot of little things today because I get up this morning. I try to watch the vlog. I like to enjoy watching the vlog like a day after I put it up or whatever. And, you know, usually sometimes they didn't watch it with me. Um, and we chill out for a minute before I start our day after we watch the vlog. Ah, uh, I couldn't watch it. It kept going. It starts, stop every three seconds. I was saying to myself, I know I do not call Xfinity and I'm trying to get my bill lower. And now my internet's not working. I started to feel a little some type of way. Nadine said, Mom, don't worry. We're going to call Xfinity and we're going to get this fixed. So this morning, early this morning, she went to go call, kind of find out it's the neighborhood. It's the area, the community, the power's out, the internet's not working. I uh, really be on the internet right now. I'm not able to edit. I'm not able to do anything. So I said, well, okay, what can I do around here? Keep myself a little busy. A little bit more. I'm putting on spray rose water. It just makes me feel, I don't know, good. It makes me feel good. Things feel completely. Plus, I feel like it's doing something for my youth. <laughs> what youth I got left. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess today I'll be a little busy. My studio is a complete wreck. It's toe up from the flow up. I'm thinking about doing something today, like clean up this mess here. Maybe just make it look, maybe just make it look a little bit more better. Look at this. I got the mic on the floor. I got the mirror on the floor. Everything I work with is just all, all over the place. Look, my wig hanging over there. My wig's over there. 
<laughs> tissue instead of paper towel. I used to tissue y'all, but I ain't got no paper towel. Everything is just a hot, hot mess. <laughs> Everything's a hot mess. So I'm even thinking about sweeping the floor today. Um, I'm thinking about mm, dragging my clothes that I wore over the week and take them to the laundry room and put them in a the washer and I'm thinking about cleaning up the wa the, the laundry room um, it won't be so bad because I've been messing around with it here and there um, I just tied my scarf on my head which is my canopy jacket and I made it into a scarf today I think I got it too tight because I can see the line that makes me look like my dad right here <laughs> the canopy, it must be too tight. It's swishing my head a little bit. I mess with it and try to adjust it when I get a chance. I'm going to carve some peaches for Nadine. Put them in a freezer baggie and put them in a the freezer so that she can um, have conveniency when she want to make a drink. She was just saying, oh, I haven't had time to cook because I've been making these drinks. I ain't saying nothing. I'm not going to complain. I even wash the dishes. I'm saying, usually I have something to say about always being a dishwasher person. But I ain't saying nothing because I get my smoothies, I get uh, the little drinks, the stuff that she, she boils her food, she smushes them down, she cuts them up. She makes her drinks and she's doing this without her juice maker or a good blender. So, you know, soon we're going to go to Target and we're going to, uh, it might be Target, it might be somebody somewhere else, but I'm thinking Target, it might be Target. We're going to get a juicer, we're going to get a blender, we're going to get a deep fryer, um, a rice cooker, something else. Uh, uh, I was going to say coffee pot. I don't have to worry about that. I have my coffee pot. I'm just praying and hoping that I still have it and that it's at the um, post office box. They're closed. They're closed. They're not opening. And it's understandable because we're uh, doing not too good in Texas. The rate for what's going on is really, really high. It's really bad. Uh, so um, it's better to just... Stay in the house and stay safe. This morning, I woke up to a knock at my door. I said to myself, I know that going well. I ain't got no family. I ain't got no friends. I ain't got no nothing coming to my house. I already have my Xfinity box. I ain't knock You're knocking for nothing. I'm not answering no door. But if you come through that door, you're going to get surprised. <laughs> I said, well, now, they don't put out an alert. Stay in the house and stay away and, and keep your, your people safe. Why are you knocking on somebody's door? Why? And then I, uh, they, they said, Mom, it might be them people. I said, who, the Jehovah Witnesses? And she said, I think so. I think, yeah, yeah. Cold, rain, storm, hell. They gonna knock on your door. <laughs> they come the girl via earthquake. <laughs> you still hear knock? <laughs> no, <I'm, I'm, laughs> they, they don't not stop them. They gonna knock on your door. I'm telling you. The only thing that's going to stop is when you go to the door and say you're a Christian. And I ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just not going to open the door. So I ain't got to worry about that. I ain't got to worry about lying. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Nadine told me that she's hungry today. So i um going to cut up some white potatoes. I've normally been cutting up the yellow organic potatoes, but she brought home some white potatoes some from, from russets. So I'm going to cut them up, make her some french fries, um, a burger. Nadine bought gluten-free hamburger buns. And, and now, y'all know how I feel about the gluten-free. And forget the gluten-free. <laughs> but, and I'm not going to say, my stomach growling. Oh my God, I'm hungry. I'm not going to chill out oh my god my stomach is such a bully i'm not gonna say that i'm excited about it but i kind of feel a little excited because what if they're really good hamburger buns that is my weakness hamburger buns i love hamburger buns i like hamburger buns even with peanut butter and jelly you know a regular um sandwich with cheese just cheese and mayonnaise i love hamburger buns so i'm looking forward to see what this is gonna taste like and if it's good, then I don't have to feel guilty <laughs> in the middle of the night if I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't have to feel too guilty. You know what I'm saying? Now, I haven't found sugar-free jelly yet. That's what I need. I need sugar-free jelly. I'm probably going to have to end up making my own jam, which is probably going to be a disaster. I have no clue. 
and don't know how to make jam but i've been saving a lot of my jars y'all i've been having a desire to really save my jars i've been drinking out of them but now i'm making my own potato chip dip i'm making guacamole so i'm thinking about starting to put stuff in jars and just put it in the refrigerator um, not to be in there forever, but just to be in there so that, cause you know, when you go buy them in the stores in a jar, you get it out of the picture and you put it on your plate from the jar. So I'm thinking about doing the same thing for myself, you know, just to keep us out of the store so much right now, you know, cause I, I, this is a bad time to be just in and out of the stores. But anyway, I hope y'all doing great. I hope you're having a productive day. I hope you, if you want to stay at home, order that you're handling it well. And that you're keeping yourself safe as well as others in this day and age. The more we do for ourselves, the more we do for others. And that's a good thing. It really is. It really is. Like, this is not the time to be finding a way to be selfish. You know, um, it's just not the time. I haven't heard from June today. I thought I heard his car earlier. I said he might pop up, but today is not Sunday. Today is a Monday, so he didn't pop up for the weekend. I wonder what he did with his weekend, because he, he didn't come see us, and we didn't go see him. I know he called me a little bit, and we stayed on the phone for a little while. Bless his heart, but I just want to know how he's doing. So I might just send him a text later on just to say, hey, Dream. Nadine made cupcakes. Oh! Yes, they did make cupcakes, y'all. Y'all know it's gluten-free, right? Child, doing cupcakes was so good. I almost feel like they were better than the cupcakes she made when they wasn't gluten-free. You know, they, they, she did a good job. Nadine is really, I think it's all about learning how to cook things the way you want it to taste or want it to be. And she's really putting so much love and time and commitment um, into her food that she's learning how to even make the gluten-free stuff taste so good. If she didn't tell me it was gluten-free, I wouldn't even have known it. That's how good it was. It was so good. And usually, you know, when it comes to gluten-free, you know, because I want my taste buds satisfied, I might take uh, eat one or take a bite or something, but that'd be it. And I'll be like, okay, well, you know, at least, you know, I feel like I had something, so I'm done. I ate another one of her cupcakes because it was so good. It was so, so good. So um, I might do an ASMR video if there's some left, you know, because I know I ate one last night and they didn't eat one. Um... So I'll see if I can put a couple of them up and do an ASMR video on them and show you the cupcakes that uh, she used. I'm still going to show them to you. You know I'm going to show them to you in the vlog because I know everybody don't watch ASMR videos. Eh, 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 eh. It is A-OK. -okay. It is A-OK -okay if you love the vlogs. I do. I love the vlogs too, y'all. So I know. I was watching and uh, reading some of the comments from the last vlog before my freaking internet act up on me. And everybody was just like... They were so happy when they saw the notification come in for the vlog. They was like, oh my God, yes, a vlog. So that made me feel good. It made me, matter of fact, that's why I'm motivated to pick up the camera today. You motivated me. You, you have. <laughs> because normally, well, I, I vlog anyway, but I'm not just so motivated. I vlog because I'm out. I'm doing something. Um, I'm by myself. Y'all my only friend. You know you my best friend. You know you are. <laughs> so I'll talk to you. And I don't have nobody else to talk to. Especially when Nadine's right now she's she's doing all the shopping because she's trying to keep mama's spirit safe. She don't want nothing to happen to me. And my daughter, she said something the other day. And I didn't say anything, but I was just thinking like, wow, you know. It, it's awesome. Not awesome, but it's just like. I can't even explain it when you know that your children love you so much. My daughter told me, she says, Mom, I, I can't see us going jet skiing because we can't swim. She said, I can't swim and you can't swim. Dream said he can swim, but if both of us go over in the water, who is he going to help first? And I would rather him save your life than to save my life first. I would want him to get you first and make sure you're okay. And if I have to lose my life to make sure you're okay, then it just be it. And I was just thinking to myself, whoa, that, like that's crazy that my daughter literally sees my life is valuable, that she would save, she would lose her own life to make sure I live, you know? And I was just like, wow, you know? So 
and and when she said that, I said, well, Dream just gonna have to be upset this time. But I don't think he will be. I think he'll still be excited to go jet skiing, but he'll be the one doing it, and we'll film him. You know, and he likes to hear when we say we'll film him, cause filming Dream is like a job. You know, and he'll make us feel like he's spending time with us, and we'd be all happy and gullible. And next thing you know, I'm holding the camera. I'm moving it around. You got to bend down this way, mom. You got to go on this angle. Do it this way. Next thing I know, I feel like, am I supposed to be getting paid for this? Because now I'm filming Dream. That's what we end up doing, filming him. You know, <laughs> he tricks us into it. So this time, I'm going to use that as an advantage and say, Dream, we'll film you. Because me and AD is never volunteering to film Dream. Okay? It's, it's just like a job. It really is. And even though he's not paying you, you better do it right. He going to make you do it right. <laughs> and you ain't getting no break until he does. <laughs> so, so I'm going to tell him that I'll hold the camera as long as he need me to while he, while he out there on African water, you know. Now, I said in the last vlog, I don't believe that we're going to end up going jet skiing anyway. I think we're going to end up being quarantined in a freaking house on our birthday. And... I think that would be one of the the saddest times for me because I celebrate my birthday the whole month and not to be able to just be out and about and doing all the things that I like to do is going to suck. It really is. It is going to suck. Okay. But I did go to Amazon and I started looking for uh, what I want for my birthday. What I want for my birthday is a big booty girl. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my daughter said, Ma, how come you always sing, think of that song when you think about your birthday? I don't know, because I'm a big booty girl. I think about that. It's, I, every time I think about my birthday, what I want. I started looking up for, looking for an iPod it, to that plays music. I think I saw something that said, Four hundred and something dollars for a freaking iPod. You out your freaking mind? And I kept scrolling, scrolling until I seen something for like twenty nine dollars. I don't know how it worked. I haven't had an iPod in a long time. I remember having an iTunes account. Um, I think I remember my email. I think to it, but I haven't signed in it in years. Like I'm talking about ten years, maybe longer than that. I don't know how that's going to work to get the music on the iPod or is the music already on the iPod? I don't know how that's going to work, but I definitely want an iPod because when I go walking or stretching, I love music. I like to hear all kinds of music. Music just takes me away from counting the seconds that I'm out here walking or exercising. Like exercise is so traumatizing to me that music takes my mind off of it. So I definitely want an iPod for my birthday. And I don't want to be like telling Dream, hey Dream, I want an iPod. Hey Dean, can I get an iPod? I'd rather just go ahead and buy it myself, you know, and um, that way I know I'll definitely have an iPod for my birthday. So I did go to Amazon looking around. Uh, I did go to Walmart uh, online looking around. So I want to go in person to maybe go to Best Buy, go to, you know, Target somewhere, and maybe just prices the iPods to see the different ones out there. That way I don't have to feel bad when I get mine that I didn't look around. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. And I guess for my birthday, Nadine's going to make us a cake because she's into the, the gluten-free stuff. And as long as it tastes good, I'm into it too, you know? <laughs> As long as Nadine making it. Nadine turning out. Uh, she don't cook often, but she baking. And that's the difference between me and her. I don't bake. I am not a baker. I don't mess around with baking stuff. Nadine's messing around with it, and she's liking it. She's even talking about making, um, which don't I don't think take a lot of work since we looked it up on YouTube, <laughs> to make uh, the egg roll skins. She's thinking about making gluten-free egg roll skins. And if she can accomplish that and it come out the pan and not fall apart, oh my God, I'll have egg rolls for days. Like seriously, I really would because um, I love egg rolls. I'm going to get started making me and Nadine some breakfast. Let me go ahead and get started and make this breakfast. I just thought about it. I'm trying to think like, am I, do I really want the hamburgers and fries? Yeah, I think I'll do that. The gluten-free cupcakes. I got like four left. So 
If Nadine don't want any more, I'll probably do a video on at least three of them before they're completely gone. This is the Pillsbury. I'm not surprised that it turned out to be really, really good because Pillsbury is always good. Gluten free. Man, I tell you, it's so delicious. It's so good. No joke. These are the peaches that I'm going to carve. I have my hamburgers that I took out the refrigerator. Um, they're not cooked, but I had um, cooked hamburgers the other day, so I took the rest of them and just put them in the refrigerator so I can just put them in a the pan. Someone gave me that tip, told me after I knead the hamburgers together, put it in the refrigerator. So that's what I did. Then I'm going to cut up the rest of my eggplant and batter that. And I'm going to carve some of these potatoes with the peaches. And I'm going to cut the cucumber. I got some pickle juice that I have bought recently. So I'm going to take this and put this in pickle juice. And I'm going to add some garlic to it. So I'm going to make garlic pickles inside the pickle juice that I already got. I'm cheating. I'm keeping the pickle juice that I already have. I just ate up all the pickles in it. I'm making my own snack pickles. Deli style. But there's nothing left, just the juice. Nadine's making hot tea, so she's going to put some hot water and her special tea that she's making with the fruit for me in there, so I'll have hot tea later. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so this is just the peelings from the peaches, and, and it's just soaked in water so we can get all the fiber out of it, and she probably used that for tea later. She's boiling her peaches. Ooh, oh my God, it look good. It look like she can make us some freaking pie, y'all. <laughs> Because all she got to do is actually you know, sweeten her in it and make it into, what, like peach cobbler and put it on some dough and we'll have a pie. I think. I'm not sure. Don't ask me because I don't do no bacon. I already can tell that's going to be so good. That's really good. It tastes airy and refreshing. And if I want it like sweet, I just need some honey. Or sweetener. But it's really delicious. Mmm. Okay, I am done cooking. I swept up the kitchen. I straightened up the kitchen. I still got a few more dishes to wash from cooking. Gotta wait till they cool down. Uh, burnt my burgers just a little bit, but they still good. I'm excited to try the gluten-free um, gluten-free buns. Also, I fried my 
eggplant and gluten free and it didn't stay crispy as long as I thought it would but that's okay I'm, I'm still excited about eating I'm starving and I'm gonna have to get to the studio another day I got the laundry in the laundry room I didn't even start laundry I didn't even start washing or anything like that but I was able to clean up the washer room and get my laundry in there I feel like I did a whole lot plus we're gonna be in the house so I, I want to save some stuff for tomorrow <laughs> I'm definitely using it as an excuse <laughs> So this is the organic coconut sugar that I'm going to use. I'm going to open it up and just kind of taste it real quick. Now, I never um, taste organic coconut sugar before. I taste. It says use only carefully selected ingredients with no artificial. Oh, they saying that they use only careful selected, selected ingredients with no artificial flavors or preservatives 
to deliver the great food you can trust. Honest taste, great value. Okay, so it's, by, it's organic by great value. I'm going to taste it now. I'm going to do it. It smell good. It's crazy. It smells just like sugar to me. That's what it looked like. And it's brown, like brown sugar. Wow. It's actually good. And it don't taste like um, coconut. It really tastes like sugar. This is really amazing. Okay. Hey, I feel I feel really good about things. Uh, the, the peach cobbler is looking so good in the pot. Uh, I'm doing little tiny tastes and it's tasting good. And Nadine was like, oh my God, we're smelling good over there. I said, it's the peach cobbler. I've been, I, I've been boiling the peaches since you've been in the shower. And I just added the sugar, the nutmeg, uh, some butter and some cinnamon. And I'm just simmering it down, getting it all gooey and everything. And they didn't say, oh my God, said, don't let me find out you about to start baking. <laughs> she said, you, you, it smelled like a whole grandma in there. Oh my God. I said, <laughs> a whole grandma. She real funny. It do smell good, y'all. It smelled real good. I'm actually excited. I never, like, uh, I just never thought about doing it. So this is, this is definitely exciting. Now the... Challenge gonna be is to get the dough right. So I got my almond milk. Um, I got the other half of the coconut sugar. And what else do I need? That's it. That's all I need to do and in, in to meet it together. I don't even need, I don't think I need eggs. You know what? I think I do need eggs. I do need eggs because it's definitely need to bake, right? I think I'm gonna use eggs. I think I'm going to use eggs. I feel more comfortable with eggs. I feel like eggs is going to um, make the dough stick together and fluff up. You know, I'm not sure. But if I don't suppose to have eggs, I won't use them next time. But this time I'm going to use them.
my flour, I think it's going to be brown because my sugar is brown. And that's okay. And I don't want to make too much dough because I'm going to be using this small bowl right here to bake it in. It smells delicious already. It smells really good. Okay, so this is what it looked like when it came out. I'm letting it cool. Me and Nadine taste the, the pie. It's really, really hot right now, but I'm impressed. I did a good job. It tastes really delicious. Nadine was like, the only problem she having is that she can't tell the peaches from the bread because all of it's like almost the same color. I told her that the sugar was brown. <laughs> so the cinnamon is brown, the nutmeg is brown. My pie is brown, okay? But she's impressed. I'm impressed. It's good, right, Nadine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's good. She's like, okay, Mom, let me make us something good to drink with that for later. I, I know that's right. So I was going to eat the peach cobbler early, but um, it's been in the oven for a while and it's super, super hot. And I want to give it a fair chance to cool down so all the butter and everything can soak down into the bread. But I'm going to go ahead and make me, Nadine, something to eat for breakfast. But I'm super excited. Look, we taste it and the plate is gone. We ate that together. We just taste a little bit because we, we don't want to get spoiled. <laughs> we want to give it a fair chance to cool down. But I, I'm very impressed. I did good for my first time. And next time will be even better. Try my pickles. It ain't done yet. It's a cucumber. But it's good, it's good right? right? <laughs> wow, that's Almost there. Good. Mm -hmm. You about to make a million dollars. <laughs> I put garlic inside the jar too. <laughs> Jay, yeah. you doing do research on how to make pickles? Look, it's so oh, bad. Look, it's so bad that me and Nadine literally been mm -hmm. eating out the jar. See how Nadine eating out the jar? The We've jar? been eating out the jar ever since. Yeah. We have not been able to like just let them turn into pickles. That's how good they taste. It's only been in the jar for like three days. It's good, right? Get that light right there. Dream came. Yeah, Dream came to fix the AC. Yeah, we Nadine, make sure you feel the vents. Dream fixed the AC within. I think it take him three seconds to fix it. 
Yeah. It's been broke for us for like two days, I think. You want to take the trash? And I needed him to work on the sink, but he told me he can't fix the sink, so I'm going to call the office and tell him that the motor to the garbage disposal is not working or sink disposal. Drake, can you take the trash out? No, you ain't coming can you take the trash out? When you going to do that? No, he said he went. Uh, I, you can come clean up. Yeah. Come clean up. You want to take the trash out right now? No, right? When you coming to clean no, up? No, no, no. Jane said he coming to clean the house for me. He said he coming to clean the house for me and AD. He coming to clean the house for me and AD. Leave her alone, Dream. Stop. It's too hot. Dream, you're taking the heat energy. You're taking it, um, the cool air. You want to punch, right? I'm not playing with you. I told you he don't know how to stop. See? Dream. Leave her alone. Oh my God. Dream, leave her alone. Okay. See, I don't know why she tried to play fight Dream because he is not going to stop until he wins. Dream. You probably saw that. Oh my God. They do stop trying. You see how huge and tall he is? Let me know who you're doing. No, she don't. She can't even speak. Leave her alone. <laughs> you ain't no good, Ma. <laughs> right. uh, so, Dream, make sure you take the garbage out. Yeah, I'm on. And what day are you going to come over and clean for us? I think I'm off tomorrow. I'll probably come tomorrow. Okay, that'd be nice. That'd be real nice, Dream. I know it's going to be nice when you finish. Especially this area right here, Dream. See that stuff over there? All on the, the where all my angels and stuff at? Look at it. It's just a hot mess. Mm -hmm. And you know the patio. Nadine. Nadine. Nadine said the patio. <laughs> I don't want to hear drill, Sergeant. Huh? I don't want to hear nothing. All right? As oh. long as you don't throw nothing away. I, no, like, like I said, Ma, I don't want to hear nothing. Dream. You don't need to come over. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I need to say this to you, Dream. Hold on. We need to talk about this. I, I, li listen. I, I'm... I'm sitting here literally suffering. No, serious. You threw away all my sundresses. I have not one sundress. Mama, that was like three years ago. But Let it's it still go. traumatizing. Let it go, Mom. I can't. Well, I can, you but it's still. Who? 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 I dare you. No, what the? Is he crazy? Is mommy not a hoarder? Are you nuts? No. Mommy, no. mommy holds on to stuff. And she don't have to do this for it. <laughs> Yo, my God, that is not true. Dream, everything I have, I use it. Right. I use every little thing. Right, Let's see. You can't just throw stuff away. Let's see. Uh, what are you looking for? Those are my angels, my candy bowls, my bird, bird feeders, my lamps, markers, you know, toilet paper. It's just, everything's just unorganized. And when you come, I'm taking Nadine's room with all her nail stuff to the room. This lamp broken. Why you still got it? Just because it's this broken thing, don't mean that it's not useful. This thing is no more good. Why you still got it? I'm not going to throw away any of the stuff. I'm just throwing away. Dream, you can't throw away a wig head. It's very useful. I got a thousand wigs. I'm not, not going to throw away your stuff. I'm not. I'm just going to clean up. Do you like, still this stuff here. Look. Look. You see that stuff right there? Dream. Y'all don't use that. I do use that. You That's use teas. This? You use it? It's tea and, and, and seeds. Tell me if you can use that, Mom. You want it? You want to use it? No, it don't work. It, what? Are you serious? You, can you use it? I spent a lot of money for that. Pay attention to what I'm asking. Do you use Somebody it? in the world can use it. I'm not throwing it away. Like, yo, that's, a, that's a hoarder's mentality. Oh my God. I'm not a hoarder. And those are my shoes. And What are you doing? That's my jewelry. I'm just saying, Mom. Everything Look. is just unorganized right okay, now. Okay, it's just unorganized. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if I go in your closet right now, yeah. you got clothes oh. that's what you never wear. You, you, you go in my closet, you be shocked. You be shook. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's this blue, what's this purple thing for? Huh? What purple thing? This purple thing, what do you use it for? I sit under it. You, <laughs> you just sit under it? Yes. Okay. Let me say. But I'm not going to throw none of your stuff away. I'm just clean, clean I mean, if it's, if it's garbage, it's garbage. Yeah, I don't mind throwing away garbage. Like, yeah. I'm just, like, the wine bottles back here, 
Y'all don't need those. Like this bucket of stuff right here, y'all don't need that stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's time to just clear everything out. Start fresh. Start you know? fresh. Okay, when you say start fresh, it sounds like you talk about throw stuff away. Yeah, man, throw stuff away. You're not disagreeing with me. Nadine is I'm disagreeing. I'm to get rid of some stuff. I'm hot right now. That's why she's not disagreeing with she, you. She hot. She agree. She and don't agree. Like, I don't talk when I'm too hot. It's just time to start getting rid of some stuff. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not playing with Dream. Now, how he gonna get me to agree that he gonna clean up the house? I more than do. No. Cause I, I, I don't use this. I See, you just wanna come over here and collect. Yeah. All I asked was to yeah. take out the trash. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna clean up. Like some of this stuff, don't use it. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. You know what? I was thinking. It's I'm okay. Nothing. I'm stuff away. It's okay. I mean, it's not that bad. I'll like, clean it up. Like for instance, the fridge. If I open it now, I'm per I bet you it's a ketchup from like three years ago in there. It is I not. Promise you. Do be sure you open up the fridge. Everything right. fresh in here. Take out the trash. Thanks. Take out the trash one more time. She don't mean it like that. Say it one more time. Just say. Don't say that, please. Don't. She gonna try to say it when I walk out the door. Jane, I've already punched you. You did? <laughs> you did? No. What else you do, huh? Jane. What else you do? Leave her alone. What else you do? Tell me. What else you do? Jane, can you please take out the trash? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to tickle you. I'm not playing with you. I'm See? not playing with you. Gonna See, me? that's what I told Nadine not to say me? that there. She said she's going to tickle me, right? Don't tickle him, Nadine. No, she tried to. It's too late. She done, she done said it already. Okay, okay. You got it. You got it. Well, Jane. Seriously. Gonna Dream not cleaning up my okay, house. I'm going to clean up my own house. I ain't got time for Dream. Me and Dream cannot start it. Um, I'm not cleaning up my house. Uh-uh. We get into arguments about that. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and clean up. 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 Yeah, I can't wait to go shopping. I don't know when that's going to be. Okay. But other than that, you've been doing good, right? You mm -hmm. sure it worked, Dream? Yeah. It's still 84 degrees in here. Yeah, it's going down. Give it time. Give it time. Okay. <laughs> Dream said, don't close the vents. Stop messing with stuff. And they just said, the guy who still started coughing. And I was thinking to myself, I'm not in the disagreement. I was the first one telling her she needed to tie, like, tape up the vents and stuff because, I mean, he literally choking up there, you know? Shoot. All right, Dream came here looking nice and fresh. Now he hot and sweaty from playing so much. Bye. Okay. Bye. Be safe. I literally been sweating for two days now, hot. I'm so glad that Dream came and fixed the air. I'm really hoping that it is fixed. I really appreciate him coming all this way um, to do that for us. <sighs> it's always something. It's been crazy. This morning been really, really crazy for me. Everything in this mama went wrong. Now, let's let's talk about the first thing that went wrong. I'm gonna tell you where my day started. Where my day started, where everything went wrong. The peach cobbler. Let's talk about the peach cobbler. Oh wait, you know what? Maybe we, I shouldn't talk about it, but I, I, I'm gonna tell you my experience. Okay, me and Nadine literally was just so happy. We were so freaking happy, you know, uh, screaming up and down, happy. We were just jumping up and down, like hitting each other hand like, you did it you did it you did it mom and she was like mom I'm so proud of you and I felt so good that Nadine felt proud of me that I finally baked something and it came out right <laughs> child Nadine went to the uh, oven to cut us some peach cobbler and she made she was supposed to be making like ice cream but she realized that she has to wait till she get her ice cream machine to make the ice cream so she made really thick good um, vanilla shakes they were really really good and um, it was so good that even after the dramatizing of heartbreak about this freaking peach cobbler, I couldn't really enjoy it as much as I wanted to. I went to bed really, really sad. Um, Nadine, she was like, Mom, it'll be all right. When she went to go cut it, she was like, um, 
mom and I said yeah she said well it's all dough and it's like rubbery you can't even barely cut it nothing I'm like what so I go check it all the pe all the juice is gone the bread done soaked up all the peach the filling the peaches are stuck to the bread and it's so thick and it rides so thick that it's so heavy that if you was changing somebody's tire you can use my peach cobbler in the place of it literally and they think she was like oh mom it's okay like she really comforted me but the moment that I was like okay I'm just gonna have to try it again Nadine whole body fell out first she fell out on the bed she got up she pulled herself together fell out on the couch she got up pulled herself together next thing she would know she was cracking up laughing hanging on to the wall and I was thinking to myself like I know it's funny I know it's funny because we really thought we was about to eat some peach cobbler me and Nadine really thought that we was about to eat some peach cobbler because you know there's nothing else sweet in the house there's nothing else um good that we could snack on and then I made it all like healthy I try to make it healthy so I want to make my own gluten-free dough and I got pie crust in the refrigerator I should have just used it and I wanted to do everything from scratch I really was I really like thought that I was doing something man shoot I I don't know if it was the eggs I don't know where I went wrong but I, I definitely went all the way wrong I went all the way left and the peach cobble is horrible it was just horrible and then I tried to eat it twice to try to figure out how like if I could warm it up and and eat it and when I tried it they didn't just looked at my face and she fell out and she was like well I guess you know that thought of having peach cobbles over oh, she just went and fixed her some dip and celery and I just sat there all night long on the edge of my bed thinking about how bad the peach cobbler came out so I, I'm gonna try it again I'm definitely gonna try it again but it's gonna be a while and I might not try it with the gluten-free flour I might just do it with the ready-made pie crust I don't know and I'm gonna show you the peach cobbler Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, night, and afternoon. And Spirit Girl, we'll see y'all in the next video. And hopefully I'm feeling a lot more inspired and happy. Right now I feel really low. I really feel, I, you know, out of a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff don't bring me down. But for some reason, not being successful with that beach cobbler really brought me down, brought my spirits down. I really wanted it to be good. And especially right now, the peach cobbler would be good because everything that could go wrong went wrong after the peach cobbler. First, it was the peach cobbler. I was upset about that. I still woke up upset about that. Then it was the garbage disposal not working. So now the water's going down slow. <sighs> then the washing machine, the thing never, not washing machine, the dishwasher, they never fixed it. Still, you know, um, leaking. <sighs> Then the AC, you know, sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days, but you know, I'll get up and try it again tomorrow. <laughs> I'll try it again tomorrow. I'm going to do my best to, to, to make it out this day and just be grateful for the small things. Like right now, I'm grateful that Dream got the ear working. I really think it's working because the floors are starting to feel cool, which is nice. Oh my God. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so Nadine told me I can have her three peaches, and she said, Mom, I think you should try it again. And um, she was telling me that she think that I just use too much flour, but I could use a little bit. But I decided I'm not going to use no no flour at all, no no gluten-free flour. I'm going to just use, I'm going to use the, the actual pie crust that's in the refrigerator because I just don't want to take a chance of messing up Nadine's last three peaches. And that's... If I do a good job, then that sweet craving that I got for something will go away. You know, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we don't have to leave this house to try to go get nothing. Because it's just not a good idea right now. We've been trying to just stay low like they asked us to. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a try. And we'll see what happens. But I'm still going to show you what the peach cobbler looked like. And, and then I'll show you the new one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try it again. 
I got the deep dish Pillsbury pie crust. Nadine's three peaches that's left. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more try. Okay, Spirit of Life, this is my first pie that I made. And you can see I was trying to cut in it, trying to see if I could salvage some of it, eat some of it, but it just kept, it just kept getting worse. And you literally barely can cut in it. Like, it's literally like, oh my God, it's so heavy. It's like 50 pounds. So I'm a little upset with that. <laughs> and Nadine, she's still laughing. She, she, it's, it's gonna tickle her forever. This is like the worst. Oh my God. Do you see how thick the dough came out? Look at that. That's the dough. It, it looked like bread pudding out of a horror movie. But there go my new pie. I didn't give up. Nadine told me, definitely mom, definitely go ahead. You should try it again. And I was able to make a new pie. I used the Pearsbury dough breading like I showed you. And I want to try again one day with the gluten-free flour. I am going to try again, but it's going to be a while, y'all. I think I'm dramatized right now. The, the, the bread didn't even soak up the butter or anything that I had put in it. The butter separated. <sighs> Just all this good sugar and butter and peaches gone to waste. I'm just gonna dump it and put it in the garbage. I'm so glad I didn't show Dream. Uh, Dream would never let me live this down. Oh my God, this is crazy. But <sighs> I'm glad I did it again. But now I'm ending my day. It's still pretty much daylight out there. The house tried to cool down a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, I just turned off the oven, so hopefully after the oven dies down from the heat, it really start to cool in here. But I'm going to try my pie in just a little bit, and hopefully I enjoy it. I know it may not be the best, because I feel like I didn't have like enough peaches, but um, hopefully I'll be satisfied until I can get to the store and get me something sweet to eat or the ingredients to try it again. <laughs> it looked good though, right? I took the crust from the second pie and cut it out, cut it out of the pan and put it on top so I could have me a top layer. So I got a bottom layer and a top layer. Mmm, I bet you the crust is good too. Okay, Nadine's trying the pie. <laughs> okay, go ahead Nadine, hurry up. She up there, y'all, she's supposed to be trying the pie. She actually fixing her a whole plate. She didn't even pull out the cool whip. Okay, so her taste the pie. I just want you to take a nice little bite. She's slicing it, y'all. <laughs> what? You can't slice it. You only could like you need a spoon or whatever to like pull it out and everything. It still had juice and everything in it, so I'm happy about that. I'm really excited. I feel like I've been slaving in the kitchen. Y'all ain't do nothing. All I did was cut up some peaches, put them in the pot with that, <laughs> with the stuff I needed, and that's it. But I do feel like I've been slaving in the kitchen because it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, I see my glycery skin. Pure sweat. <laughs> I've been sweating all day. Okay. Oh, she got a cool wit with it, everything. Okay. <laughs> She's smiling. Mm-hmm. She said, okay. Taste it without the Cool Whip, though. <laughs> I want to make sure you're not covering up the taste. All right, hold on. It smelled good, too. It smelled real good. I feel like it ain't going to be sweet enough because I feel like I didn't sweeten it as much as the first one. Mm -hmm. It's good? It's good. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I did it, y'all. Let me, let me take a, after Nadine take her slice, I can show y'all what it looked like in the inside.
Testing, one, two, one, two. It's been a long day, you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're going to feel out a day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here.